Hey folks, back with another video here today. Uh, today I'm going to show you a way to get kind of an, a, like an upright uh, bass tone out of an electric bass. Uh, not going to use any effects. I'll be honest, I'm playing through a, an effects processor or a preamp that's got uh, some compression on it. But uh, you can get the sound just straight out of an amp. Uh, you don't need to add any weird effects to get it to go. What you do need is something that approximates a jazz bass. Um, while this is kind of an expensive uh, status graphite neck bass, uh, you don't need anything expensive. What you really need is uh, just a, a jazz style bass with single coil pickups. So humbuckers don't really quite sound the same. So uh, what I'll do first is show you what it sounds like and then we'll just talk a little bit about how to get the tone. Uh, I have a terrible imagination when it comes to upright stuff because I don't play an upright, I'm on an upright. Uh, so the one thing that comes to mind that's hilarious is not actually an upright bass but it sounds like one. It's like Joe Satriani, always with me, always with you. So always with you, always with me, which, whichever it is. <laughs> I think it's always with me, always with you. So anyhow, um, in that song, they're actually using a synthesizer uh, in a drum machine. So, uh, but it sounds like an upright, and of course in the video, there's a guy in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'll go ahead and play a little bit of that, and you can see uh, what we're aiming for here. So, uh, what's the magic secret? It's pretty easy. So what I've done is I've panned myself completely over to the uh, front, neck, whatever you want to call this big up here. And this bass is active. It doesn't have a tone control. If you do have a bass with tone control, try rolling it all the way down. Uh, you might find you want to turn it up just a little bit. This bass is rather strange. It has an active treble, but there's no active bass on it. It's very weird. It controls your volume. Uh, pickup pan and just this treble booster cut. So I've got it turned all the way down. Um, the big trick is actually not only with the pickup, but it's right here. It's all about hand placement, and the harder you pluck, uh, sometimes the more convincing things sound. So uh, turn it back. Sometimes even, you know, having a little rattle is not a bad thing, but... You know, if you play somewhere else... As far as where do you want to play on the neck? Uh, somewhere around where the neck is joining the body, but... Just find a spot, you know, like down here doesn't sound quite as good on this bass, so. So I think that all hard, yes. Uh, but anyhow, that's all there is to it, so you don't have to have any effects. I think something like a... Uh, there's some effects that kind of will make a note bloom a little bit. It's kind of like something that fades the notes in a little bit. That might make the sound a little different, but uh, it actually a little bit of reverb might actually not hurt. Anyhow, that's all there is to it. Uh, again, jazz style bass, single coil pickups, humbuckers just don't sound the same. A uh, Use the, the, the front or uh, neck pickup and try turning your tone all the way down and then kind of experiment a little bit to find what you want. And then again, right hand, you're looking somewhere around the neck joint, uh, maybe a little further up and just experiment. And again, uh, don't be afraid to play hard. That also helps it out. So until next time.